so hello uh welcome back guys so in this video we will be working on the uh ui according to the data that we received from the red two so so i have um two terminal instead of showing in the right side panel i move uh, down so we can know that which one is client and which one is abn easily so i will run for the abn first and be eight node more in desktop.js so we are running our server in port 3000 for the client and we are run dev so we will, we will get our our server so now uh, we have got the images dynamic images from the uh, products database so I will go into the client folder and src uh, component products so in here, uh, we don't have page and to the pages because uh, maybe later we might use because right now we don't have pagination data. Uh, it's come from actually the um, the products, but I didn't uh, make any like page or to the page number or something. I just only return all the product list here. So we don't, we will not have this value in our um, data when we fetch. So it's totally not a problem. Uh, we will remove uh, for now to the page and pages. So we only receive products. So here uh, we just already loop through the product list we got from the API and the key we use is ID and image. And then uh, I will use the uh, I will use the uh, name. Okay, so we will say yeah, we'll use it to product dot, uh, we have product dot, yes, product dot name. So it will be showing our product name. This one will be description, rating, and number of view. Okay, we, we, we can say, uh, yeah, we'll use it to product dot a new name, a new and name review, re we are ew, re we are ew. Okay, so number review. This one will be product product dot price so so that's it pretty much about it so we will go and check here so everything is changed okay so we will say instead of number um, review review I review count okay so we will say it like this so it will be review count so the price and everything is fine if I click on here I would like to uh, go to the project product today page. So what I will do is I have a I have a HRE I have tab here. So instead of a, I will say link. Okay, I will say link. So that link is from the rear router. Okay, rear dom rear router dom. We have a link. So I will import first. Oops, I will import and I link from react router dom so we will use that link i will go here and i will close with the link so uh, here instead of instead of uh, saying href we have to say two so we will go to the uh, we will use batik here because we will be using the oops so batik like this uh is yeah so we we'll use like this inside batik we can define the string blucts slab and the id of the product product or id so product slab one product slab two okay according to the id will be redirect to the uh link perfect so when we go into the uh, we will go and check. Okay, I will click here. Let, let's see. So we got products like undefined, which means that uh, we don't have the ID in here. So we have only underscore ID. Underscore ID. So uh, this one, I will go and refresh. I uh, go back. And then, so we got our product ID here. Okay. So uh, let's check the. Uh, API look at host 3000 slab API slab product so we have a product 
So if I say ID, like we will fetch from this ID, product slab. So we got the data, actual data, okay, actual data. We got the actual data. So by doing that, Uh, so we got the actual data from here. Uh CTS. Okay, so I will go and check in the product we have no product we have DD. Okay, that's one. B R O D U C D S. We will say B R O D U C D S. Okay, so I will come and check again here. Yes. So we are in our product DD page. Uh, if I go back to the home page and let click something, so it should be redirect to the product lab. The ID of the product. So in here we will be uh, designed as you are here. Okay, let's do it. So we go to the uh, page, project DD page. So in here uh, we bring the uh, ID. Okay, so we should receive the uh, prom. Uh, let me check uh, prom or. So yeah, use the parameter. We will use the parameter. So here we can say const const id equal to use parms. Okay. So using that use param uh, from rear router DOM, uh, we can we can fetch the id from the URL. So uh, uh, I hope you might remember in the first lesson in part 17 we build the redo uh, for the product data as well so this one we will be using like with the id we will fetch from the api and then we assign the payload data uh, back to the product reducer okay here product reducer so according to the state we will have the product with the review and the data will be here so we have to do the same thing like we do product list so we have to use dispatch. Yeah, SBADCH dispatch equal to use DISBADCH. So it will be using from uh, React Redu. So after that, uh, we will say cons be able to use the product. This one we will not use product list reducer. We will use product uh, in the action product product action. Okay. So this is product list action and this is product reducer we we'll use this one so product reducer equal to uh, use selector we we'll use selector uh, from the rear reduce so in the use selector we will we'll have state state and the error return function state with the uh, product reducer okay so uh, inside that uh, we should uh, I mean, apart from that, we should define loading error, and then we will get the single product BL UCD data from the product reducer. Okay, from that product reducer, and then uh, we have to call the action in order to get this data using use effect, use EFFECD, use effect inside use effect. We have to create another error function key with the using dispatch okay so we have to dispatch our uh, product action uh, with the id that we receive from the user parameter so using dispatch product action id and we have to declare again with the uh, dispatch that we consume and the id as well so uh, the use spell will be work when we call this component uh, as a default. So after that, uh, what we can do it. Um, let me check here. We have got the error. What is that? API. Okay. Hmm. What is that error? Where is that error? Yeah, here everything is fine. Oops. Let's 
So, um, for the product, like we do in our in our product list, we have to check like if I go here, uh, if it is loading, we will say loading. If it is error, we will say error. Then the rest will be um, the UI. Okay. So I will say like this. And then this UI should be moved inside this code. And then we have to uh, close our, no, here, this one. Oops. Um, let me check again. Where, where, where. Uh, okay, we have to close with the, with the, Okay, so for now, uh, loading error is okay. Now we have to bring our product like uh, image. For the image, let's say product.img is image. So if I go here, yeah. So product.image is showing here. So this will be brand name. And the I will show uh, the brand name and the credit and the uh, something like okay, so credit in the in the rate is will be product dot yeah, product dot name. Okay, so yeah, so this one will be product dot name, and then review rating. So we should have the yeah. So we don't have for now. That's fine, and uh, maybe we can say yeah review count. And the price count in stock. Price count in stock. Let's say full review. Okay, so we can say here uh, instead of full review, we can say here and review. So here is might be the price. Uh, PL PUCT dot price, so that would be great. That would be great. Um, price we are use with the dollar dollar sign. Okay, so this review and this one will be product description. Yeah, so this one will be product. Yeah, product description. So PLO product dot DSCIP. SCI PTN one product description. So uh, for the color and size, we'll leave it like this. So um, this one will be priced as well, and the add to cart. The bottom will be add to cart. Or we can remove the color and the size. So uh, this one will be PLD product or PIC price, and then this one will be. Add to the add, add to cart. Okay, so for now, uh, this is good. So we have got the product list from the ABI and the product detail from the uh, each item. Okay, that's perfect. So I will see um, see you in the next video. What will we do is we will do user authentication in the next video. User login, logout, register. And after that, we will do add to cart and check out. So this is the, uh, for now and see you in the next video. Thank you.